We are just days away from one of the biggest shopping weekends, which includes Black Friday. A new part of the weekend is Small Business Saturday. American Express launched the Shop Small initiative after the recession. It was designed to help the nation's 23 million small businesses recover. Last week, small businesses made up 54% of all sales in this country. American Express CEO Kenneth Chenault joins us now. We should mention that American Express is an underwriter of my PBS program, and I'm proud of that. Pleased to have you here. Are you proud of Charlie? Is he doing a good job? Absolutely proud of Charlie. No <laughs> doubt about so, it. So you don't have to worry. Okay. Absolutely. Good to know. Tell me what this is about, <laughs> this initiative, and, and what impact you hope it will have. I think what's really incredible is that Small Business Saturday and Shop Small has truly become a movement. We're into our fifth year. And the reality is that small businesses are really the backbone of the American economy. Mm -hmm. They're responsible for 50% of the jobs in the private workforce. They actually have created two thirds of the net new jobs mm -hmm. over the last 20 years. And what small businesses want is they want more customers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. And what's fantastic this year is we have 3,000 communities representing 50 states, including Washington, D.C., all behind Small Business Saturday. And what do you mean, Ken? Because some people think, are you just saying mom and pop stores? How do we go and find a small business? These Where are should we go? independently owned small businesses, retailers, mm -hmm. restaurants. And the reality is that small businesses drive the local economy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is when you're helping a small business, you're helping your own mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. And anyone can make a difference. Yeah. This is frankly the one movement that I will tell you is not limited to American Express. Yeah. <laughs> you can use any credit card. Yeah. Right. You can use cash. You can use checks. All we want you to do is it's to support small businesses in your community. And this year, we're actually extending it into the evening. So after you finish shopping, uh, you can go to a restaurant. Yeah. And what's very, very important is that 50% of consumers are aware of Small Business Saturday in just five years. And 82% have said on November 29th, on Saturday, that they're going to support small business. And 77% of those have said that Small Business Saturday drives them to shop yeah, small great. all year long. That's a great idea. Ken, let me ask you about kind of online security concerns because we've been reporting a lot right. about what happened at, at Target and Home Depot, stealing credit card information. What's American Express doing? Well, here's what's very important is American Express has the largest integrated payments platform in the world. So we actually, we don't just issue cards, we acquire merchants, we have all that information and data, so our fraud rates are 50% less than the industry. But do you worry about hackers? We absolutely worry about hackers. It's something that we've invested in substantially. We've got to be focused on it on a daily basis. There are literally thousands of attacks every day. And so it is absolutely critical that from a technology standpoint, we continue to innovate because it is a major, major threat. And privacy, security, trust is fundamental to the and they, commerce experience. And they continue to innovate as well. Yes. Let me tell you, Charlie, yeah. the reality is you have some of the most brilliant people who are fraudsters. Yes. Wow. And we have to be way ahead of them. And is there a common denominator among the people who are hacking, whether it's government or private? I think at the end of the day, it is all sources. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to be prepared for every group that is involved in hacking. Let's talk about you, Ken Chenault, for just a second. I'm just going to toot Ken Chenault's horn just a bit. <laughs> Eric Schmidt said this about you, uh, chairman of Google. Kenneth exemplifies the best leadership that I have ever worked with. I like that. So what do you think is the key to being a good leader? Here you are. You're one of the few minorities that runs a Fortune 500 company. What's I would just key? say two or three things, Gail. One is my favorite quote on leadership comes from Napoleon. Uh, and I always preface it saying I don't want to wind up like him. Uh, but I really believe that the role of a leader is to define reality and give hope. And we know how difficult it is in the world yeah. we operate in today to define reality. But it's not enough to define reality. You've got to come up with strategies and tactics to define hope. And that's critical. And I think about that every single day. Every single day.
Thanks, Find Ken. reality and give hope. Yeah, Napoleon. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ken Schmelz, yeah. always great to have you here. Thank Shop you. small on Saturday. Shop small on Saturday. Got it. We got the message.